Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Uh, long time no see. So I'm back with some more videos. Sorry I had a little bit of a break. i um, trying to get other things done in my life, so like that, so I've just been kind of slacking on the videos. But they are coming. I will do be doing more. So without further ado, I wanted to uh, just do another discussion video today. And I, um, you know, I'm... You know, I'm, I'm all about the Invicta watches. If you're if you're new to the channel, I basically review all different kinds of products, but mainly I've been focusing on watches for quite some time now because it's really my biggest passion. It's my the biggest thing I collect. Now, sure, I'm into electronics and smart home stuff and all those other things and cars, but the watches is something you can buy. You know, you know, quite often where you you know can't buy unless you're really well off. You can't be buying a car. You know, every month, of course. But um, so. I've been always looking into different brands that are out there, and there, folks, there are tons of different brands out there. Um, it's, it's just amazing to me how many different styles and brands of watches there are on this on this on this world. Um, now, again, you guys know primarily I love the Invicta watches, just because. Um, again, you know, like I said in my other videos, it's not that I think Invicta is the best watch available. I'm not saying it's the the highest quality watch. What I'm saying is that I think personally you get the most bang for your buck if you like that styling. I'm really into the really large oversized wristwatch theme and I just really enjoy how it feels on my wrist. I like the way they look and I love the styling behind Invictus. Now I own several different watch brands and there are several different watch brands I like to pick up from Seiko to you know the new Aragon company which is the old Android company. Um, guys there, there's so many different watches I mean it, 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 it'll never really stop. You know if Invicta wasn't around there's plenty of watch manufacturers out there I would find watches that I I really like. So today I wanted to um, kind of touch base on a watch brand that's been around forever. I just want to talk about one of their newer models that's coming out because I have been very impressed with the watch I picked up recently. It has become one of my favorite watches. And surprisingly, um, it's it's not a very big watch. It's not the size of most of your Invicta watches. And I'm just going to give you kind of a side-by-side -side comparison today just of three watches that I have here with me now. And again, this video is going to be about the question, again, just like my Invicta watch video, are Bulova watches any good? Now, you're always going to get people with their different opinions. I can't tell you the number of times, no matter how many times I address it in my videos, that people still want to come back and tell me Invicta sucks, or Aragon sucks, or this sucks. You're always going to have that one person, and there's not many folks, let me tell you, of, of the 75,000 views a month I get on my videos, there are not many people who actually have negative things to say about Invicta, or any of the products really, which is actually really nice. Um, again, folks, if, if you don't like something, you don't have to wear it. And you're not going to change my opinion by dropping a comment and telling me that, you know, this watch is good, this watch is bad. Although I appreciate everybody's opinion. Really, if it's a negative one, you really just keep it to yourself because I won't let anybody see your your nastiness on the channel. So, with that being said, is Bulova a good watch? Okay, I think Bulova is a fantastic watch brand. And I think there are lots of watch brands out there, again, not just Invicta, that are amazing watch brands. Now, you're going to have levels of quality Levels, levels of uh, sophistication with every watch brand. Do, you know, I always like to, you know, I don't mean to always kind of pick on Rolex, but I think Rolex is kind of a, it's a very, uh, I think it's a very basic watch. It's a very old name in watches. It's a, hand, I believe they're, uh, well, I don't know if all of them are handmade. And there, I mean, there's got to be some kind of assembly process nowadays. Um, but, you know, I don't really know a lot about Rolex as a company, but I can tell you that for what, for me personally, for what you pay for a Rolex, it's, it's insane to me. I mean, four thousand dollars minimum for a Rolex watch that looks, in my opinion, it doesn't even look like it doesn't look as good as your hundred dollar Invicta. You know, and that's just my opinion. Now, I'm not saying that 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 watch is not amazing on the inside. But let's face it, all these watches, unless you are really, really a watch, what I call a watch snob, a real watch connoisseur, who are really, and there are people out there. And I don't mean to insult you at all. There are people out there who buy watches because or collect watches because of the mechanics behind them. As other people buy them for the looks. I buy them for the looks. I really don't care if they lose time or not. It doesn't really matter to me because it's easy enough for me to set. I mean, let's face it. With the with all the watches that I have and, and, and lots of automatic watches, batteries go out and automatic watches, unless you have them in a watch winder, you got to constantly set them. And I don't personally want to have my watches displayed out for somebody to break in and steal. I want them secure, locked away in safes. And, you know, a watch winder is great to keep your watch winding, and it looks really classy, but for me, I don't mind just setting the watch real quick. So, again, there are people who buy the watches based on, you know, the, 
I guess the precision, okay, and, and I guess the art of making the watches that people buy just because they just like watches. So everybody has a different idea. However, I'm not going to sit here and get on your channel and tell you that you're stupid or that you, you know, that that's a, a crappy uh, reason for collecting something, okay? Everybody has their own opinions, and, and as long as we respect each other's opinions, that's what's, I think, most important. But um, let's move it on, though. The, the watch I want to show you today is a bull of a watch. And I, I didn't ever think I would buy a Bulova watch because you always go into the mall and you see them at Macy's and you see them, um, you know, I mean, everybody carries them. I mean, let's face it, I've, I've had people comment on the Invicta watch and saying, oh, Kmart sells them. Well, you know what? Kmart sells Bulova too, guys. Kmart is a huge company and Kmart sells all kinds of different brands, ones that you may not find in their store, but you can buy them on their website, of course. So that's really irrelevant who sells a watch. What's most important when buying watches, what kind of price you get it from, is it legit? Is it a factory second? You know, those are the most important things, um, you know, that come into play. So, again, I've done a review on this watch before, but I wanted to just discuss, because uh, I've had it now for several months, and I've worn it, and I wear it quite often. And I'm surprised at how much uh, wrist time this watch gets, because I love Invicta. I love the big watch theme, and this is not a big watch. But I tell you, this is a classy watch, and I've gotten many compliments on this. And this is the Bulova Precisionist. Now... This watch price varies greatly. I mean, huge. If you folks, if you want this watch, you can definitely go into like one of the stores in the malls, like Zales, those jewelry stores, and probably pretty easily find the Precisionist. Um, I've worn this watch, like I said, at work, and I've had I've seen other people with it, and I'm like, yeah, I got the same one. And people have paid eight hundred dollars this watch. Now I got a steal on this watch for under three hundred bucks. And really, when you start looking at you know, just like Invicta, all these watch companies have huge inflated prices, huge MSRPs, and some of them market that where they, they just, they say this is what the watch costs. Like if you were to go to Bulova.com and find this watch, which let me go ahead and do that right now. And I also want to touch base on another one they got. Uh, it's it's for the upcoming, what is it, the, uh, the Grammy Awards, and Bulova has partnered with the Grammys to make a Grammy, I guess, uh, timepiece. Uh, kind of a, a limited edition. Uh, it's very pretty. It's the same watch, but it's done in like kind of a tux. They call it like a tuxedo black, I believe. Um, gold back on it, but it is your classic Bulova watch. So now they want for that watch on their website eight hundred and fifty dollars. So I mean that's pretty crazy when you can pick this one up for under again under three hundred dollars. So let me just put this down for a second. I will put it on the wrist and show you what it looks like again and do a little side by side comparison of the size. Um, let's see what we got here. So let me go into what they actually have this for on their website, just so we can get an idea of what this watch would cost just on the website, okay? Uh, this is the one here. Okay, so this particular watch on the Bulova website is $899. That's what you're going to pay, you know, for the most part, if you go into like your, your jewelry stores in the mall, like Zales and your... Uh, I can't think of some of the other ones in there, but um, you're going to have a huge markup. Just like if people who buy, you know, I hear Invicta's really big on the cruise ships. You buy it on a cruise ship, you're, you're going to get ripped off. I mean, that's, that's, that's the bottom line. If you want this stuff, there's no reason to buy them from the manufacturer direct because they just really, they it's just an overinflated MSRP price. So again, this watch, worth every penny of 300 bucks. It's beautiful, okay? But don't buy it off the website. Uh, because you're, you're doing, or if you see it anywhere close to that, that's just way, way too much for the watch. Now, I'm not saying you wouldn't get it and still wear it and love it. I mean, people who have bought that watch for, like I said, the guy came in and he was like, I paid seven fifty for it. I didn't tell him that I, you know, I just ordered one for under three. And I'm not saying how un much under three, but it was a fantastic deal. And, uh, you know, I mean, like I said, buyer beware. Um, so I was going to tell you a little bit about Precision. Let's hopefully we have some information here. Um... All right, so what they say about it is from the Precisionist collection with precise timing of one one thousandth of a second, continuous sweeping hand, which means the sweeping, the hand doesn't actually tick. It continues to sweep, just like a Rolex, they're kind of known for the sweeping hand. Uh, of course, you have um, stainless steel with gold and silver ion plated finishes, black multi-level carbon fiber dial, uh, luminous markers, calendar, screw back case, screw down crown, double press fold for clasp and safety lock. Powered by Bulova's exclusive high-performance quartz movement with a frequency of 262 kilohertz for unparalleled accuracy. And, of course, they have, uh, I guess you can order it here with the size, which is kind of weird because mine just came with, you know, your standard watch size. Maybe they size it for you, I think, is probably what they do. Um, case diameter on this particular watch is 46.5 millimeters, okay? Then you have your 17.89 in case thickness. 
Not a small watch. I remember when I when a 47 millimeter watch, when the first time I started wearing like the Jacob and Company watches, that was a huge watch. And now, you know, we get desensitized when we're wearing 60 plus millimeter watches. But nonetheless, this is the kind of watch I've I've referred to as is when you know if I was going to a job interview, I wouldn't necessarily wear my gigantic Sea Hunter Invicta because it really is over the top, and you know. People are judgmental, and they might look at you and think you're, you know, trying too hard, or why are you wearing that ridiculous watch. A Bulva watch like this, you're, it's just classy. You tell people you're wearing a Bulva, they know the name. I mean, it's a, it's a gorgeous watch here. I'll try to get some close-ups here. Now that the weather's starting to get a little nicer, I can start doing these videos again because the lighting is getting better. Now I know better camera, better lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have about a 7-inch uh, wrist. So, I mean, 46 millimeter, that still looks like a big watch. And like I said, the times where I wear it, I'm like, nobody's going to notice this. People notice this watch, and I always get compliments on it. It's a fantastic, classy timepiece. Now, in my opinion, Bulva has definitely, I think, kind of taken a little bit of the styling from Invicta. I mean, uh, this is very classic to what you would find in an Invicta watch, where you have your, you know, your, your chunky, chiseled details. Um, you know, in my opinion, it's, it's, it, they definitely... Uh, Compared to the other models they make, they definitely have gone towards that uh, Invicta style. And just my opinion. I mean, it, they are different. It's still a bull of a watch, but um, I think it's kind of very similar to what you'd see in like a Coalition Forces. It's kind of that chiseled, chiseled look, but um, very classy watch. You can see this one's done in the rose tone and stainless. Um, the the crystal is actually curved, which is kind of a unique feature on that. Um, as far as the operation, guys, I just use it to tell time and have it look nice on my wrist. I mean, it, yeah, it's got the chronograph, it's very precise, but, you know, like I said, I don't really care about that. Um, so, what else they got about it? It's got a three-year limited warranty, of course, and then, of course, you have, this watch is available in several different executions. Uh, you have it with the, like I said, the Grammy edition, which is all black, uh, with just a few gold highlights on it. Uh, then you have one, the Grammy edition, same thing, but done with uh, a leather band, and you have the poly band. And uh, what else? Uh, and then th that's their, their new line. Then you can get it all gold, which I kind of wish we would have got it all gold. But I got such a good deal on this one, I, I didn't get it in the all gold, naturally. Uh, they make it a non chronograph version you can pick up for, I've seen that thing for like just about 200 bucks. I mean, it's pretty amazing. And then they have their, I think what probably was their original Precisionist line, which look, looks like every other watch. It's not really uh, too stylish. This is the newest model where they really kind of changed the way it looks and uh, they really did some great work on this here. Again, I think taking styling cues from your Invicta. I mean, really. So I want to show you the side by side with just another Invicta watch. Uh, if you're not looking for an over the top watch, uh, this is your, uh, your, I mean, one of the best watches Invicta makes. This is your uh, Grand Diver. Um, guys, for those who are like, Invicta uses crap movements. Guys, you just do your homework. I mean, a lot of them use the, the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The um, I'm drawing a blank, guys. It's been a while since I've done a video. A lot of them use the um, in their standard quartz line, uh, the Ronda movements. Excuse me. And they make Victor puts a lot. Of, Victor doesn't make movements. They put movements from other you know manufacturers. Ronda is a huge movement by Victor, but Ronda is in a lot of watches. So I mean, there's plenty of watches out there you probably don't even realize have Ronda movements. In them. So Ronda's a very respect, respected, respected um, you know Swiss made. Uh, it falls under the Swiss made category. Um, movement, um, you know, I think it's great. I've had any, I haven't had any issues with any of the, the watches I purchased. Um, again, this one here though is powered by a Seiko automatic movement. Everybody respects Seiko. I mean, I've never heard anybody say anything bad about Seiko. I'd love to get a Seiko in my collection. I will probably pick one up eventually. Uh, but you can see this one here is powered by an automatic Seiko. Uh, I believe it's the NH36. I believe, um, and they just have, you know they they're winding uh, pendulum right there that moves when you wear it and winds the watch is actually, you know, got the Invicta yellow. So they've taken the Seiko movement and they've added a little Invicta touch on it. But still Seiko movement, an amazing watch. Um, and this watch can be had for like $100 to $150. It really is amazing. I mean, like I said, I always say, where are you going to go into the mall and try to find a watch that gives you this kind of quality and value? And even the Bulova too. I mean, don't buy the, any of these in the mall. Don't go to Macy's. Don't go to, you know, Zales or the jewelry stores and buy these. You're going to pay so much more for them. Get them through the links. That's why I put up these videos, you know, or put links in the description so you guys get the best deal. And really, in my opinion, um, you know, if you're an Amazon, if you love Amazon, let's say you just don't do eBay, go to FatCatWatch.com. There is an Invicta store on there. I'm going to do a Bulova one next and put Bulova links on there as well. Where you can get them through Amazon uh, sellers. If you like Amazon, get them through that. Help support the channel. But I love eBay. I mean, I, I, I've 
bought most of my Invicta watches off eBay and I've been very, very happy. If you have an issue, it's very easy to sell it back. Return, print the label, you send it on its way. So I absolutely love eBay for buying these things. Uh, but if you don't like eBay, you know, help support the channel. You can make your purchase through the Amazon Fat Cat Watches web store. Go to the, the, uh, the Fat Cat Watches website. You'll find the link on there up in the upper left-hand corner under web store, okay? Uh, Bovo will also be on there too. I'll put a link in the description for this watch as well. If you look for, if you want to purchase this watch or an Invicta watch, I'll put two links in there where you can pick this stuff up for the best prices. So really, I you know, to, to answer your question, uh, that question I get asked, you know, have you been happy with your your Bulva watch, I mean, lots of people ask me these questions. I think, you know, I'm looking at some of the Bulva watches now, and to be honest with you, a lot of these watches to me just seem very, very basic for what you're, for what you're paying. Uh, now, there are some here. This one's pretty cool, men's crystal watch. That's something I might look into there. It's, you know, I like some of the diamond stuff or the crystals. That's pretty nice looking watch. Um, but I think Bulva, I mean, really is a fantastic watch brand. Um, I've been very happy with this purchase and I, I definitely will probably pick up another, now that I've seen this one, probably will pick up another Bull of a Watch because I, you know, I think it's a pretty well respected name and I think, you know, for me, I mean, they, they give you a lot of watch for your money just like Invicta, at least with this particular one. Um, another company I just want to touch base on too since I have it out here just to compare it. This one here is one my girlfriend got me. This one here is made by the Aragon Company. Um, an amazing watch company as well. It gives you a lot for your money. Again, you have to look for those sales because, I mean, if you, you know, sometimes these watches, like this watch I've seen for $600, then it goes down to like $250. So you really got to kind of watch the deals. But this one here is, again, powered by a Seiko movement as well, the NH36 as well. They, you'll find a lot of these watch manufacturers will put the Seiko movements in there. And I think it's great because you already have a trusted, solid movement. Why try to, you know, create something or make something of your own where you're not really, you know, I mean, you don't specialize in that. Leave it, you know, leave it to the experts, you know. I mean, you got somebody making quality movements already. Focus on, you can really focus on design. That's what I love about these manufacturers, Invicta and, and Aragon, and which was the old Android. And, of course, naturally, Bulva. I think a lot of time, now, Bulva does make their own movements, of course, which is great. And, you know, I mean, like I said, I, I think it's awesome that I have another brand in my collection. But, um, you know, I think they're all fantastic watches. This, you know, you can see this one's a little bit bigger. Or like a 50 millimeter watch, but uh, nonetheless, I mean, uh, definitely check out the Bull of a Line. Again, I will put the link in description. Um, again, this is a video I haven't really put up a video in quite some time. Um, I want to say that you know, for those of you, my 500 friends who are following me on uh, my uh, Facebook channel uh, or on Facebook as well, sh showing your watch pictures, I didn't delete the page. Facebook actually deleted the page because uh, probably some hater out there complained that it wasn't actually the person in Facebook you. Uh, you actually have to create uh, one of their pages and not an actual, it's still a page, but you have to create what they call a page under your primary account for any kind of, uh, you know, business or, uh, you know, like brand or whatever, you know, and, and you can't actually have what would be their personal pages, which is supposed to be you, um, on there. So I had two Facebook accounts and unfortunately that's what happened. Uh, I changed the name to, you know, to something that was realistic and, Obviously, one of those haters out there probably complained and it got kicked off. So what I have done is I'm building now a legit Facebook page, which they allow, and we can still do the wrist shot action on there. So I'll, I'll put the link in that in, uh, for that in the description as well. Find me in that. Go ahead and like the page. It's a great way to keep in contact with people who share this passion for watches. And again, it's not just all about Invicta watches. As you can see, you know, Bulva, um, it's about all watches. And, you know, everybody has different budgets and, and everybody has different things that they're into. You may be a guy who really is into, let's just say, only Bulva watches. Become part of the action. You'll find a lot of Invicta watches on there. But, you know, it, it's we all share the passion for these watches. It doesn't really matter what your reason is behind which one you collect, as long as you're respectful to others. So uh, again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope I touch base on how happy I am with this watch, the Bulva Precisionist. Um, again, if you want to get it, I definitely, if you like, you know, the l large chunky watch thing, and I've had people say, man, I love Invicta watches, but some were just too big. Get the Grand Diver. Get a, get a Pro Diver. You know, just stay in that size where you're 46 to 50 millimeter. I don't think you're going to feel that way. And if that's too big for you too, they make other watches that are smaller, but it's going to be harder to get under 47 millimeter in a man's watch with a Victa. But, again, like I said, one of my coworkers, she picked up the Zeus Bolt, and uh, she, you know, she got the woman's model, and I have a video on that. Check it out too. It's a smaller Bolt, but you still get the styling, and it's just smaller. There's nothing that really says it's a woman's watch, really. It's another just big, chunky watch, and if you like a particular watch, brand, like styling Invicta, and maybe it's too big, get the woman's model. It's not, you know, 
unless it's going to be pink, nobody's going to think it's a woman's watch. And you know, let's face it, guys, we can rock whatever color we want. But, um, you know, definitely check them out. And if you don't like Invicta, check out the Bull of a Watch. I think you'll be very, very pleasantly surprised. Uh, again, if you like Invicto styling and you get this watch home. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. More videos coming, more side-by-side -side comparisons. Again, I've always said now the weather's turning, I'm going to start doing some stuff outside in my garden, uh, which will be really great bright lighting. Uh, you can really see what these things look like under, uh, you know, under the sunlight. Um, and uh, what else? Again, check the link uh, in the description for the new Facebook page. And check out FatCatWatches.com. Guys, when you do make a purchase... Uh, through either eBay or Amazon or any of my affiliate links. It does help to support the channel where I can buy more watches and do more reviews for you. So, um, you know, uh, it doesn't support the channel a lot, but every little bit helps, and I have a lot of fun sharing my passion with the rest of the world. Also, I've been saying this for a while. I just uploaded, for my subscribers, I just uploaded a couple months ago uh, my first smart home device. Um, I know it'll get a little confusing because the channel is really about watches, but I just add whatever because when you're... You know, when you're searching for videos on YouTube, it doesn't necessarily just bring up Fat Cat collections based on, you know, Invicta. Just like, you know, you can have different videos on there. So if you're not into the, uh, you know, the smart home stuff, that's okay too. Uh, but check them out. I just did a, a link on the Wink Relay, and I have a lot more things I've added to my home. Google Home, Alexas, new TVs, all kinds of stuff that I really want to do reviews on and share with you guys. And I think you'll, you'll, uh, you'll enjoy them. You really will. So again, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. 6,300 subscribers as of today. And uh, just, it keeps climbing. I just, uh, I don't know when, if there is a, a cap to it. I'm really having a lot of fun with you guys. So thank you very much. And just do two things, like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, guys.